Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing a Google Forms tutorial and you might be like, why? Well, I have two things I would like to show you right now. One of them is this screenshot that I took, nifty little thing, about my last Google Forms tutorial, the how to go to section based on answer, obviously the best performing video I have. And I kind of just like looked at the stats today and I was kind of like, dang, I should probably follow it up with a full tutorial so you guys um can look at that and you know more views so honestly looking back i don't know how that video did so well i don't know why that video did so well and i don't know why it's actually doing better than it ever has now given the fact that it's um actually kind of obsolete now because uh, google forms updated their thing so I guess probably because of quarantine, people are doing that. Uh, one other thing is this. Um, this is a screenshot of the total views, 23,453 views. I would just like to say thank you guys all so much. We're almost at 50 subs now. Make sure you guys get us there. That'd be amazing. For the 16 people who disliked, I don't blame you. For the 168 people who did like, thank you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I th I th I'm going to be doing a full tutorial today. And so once you open one, um, up your f page, you're going to have that screen I just clicked off of. And uh, you're going to want to open a new form. So depending on what you're doing with the form, you'll want to do different things. So I'll kind of be talking about other, you know, the different things you can do with Google Forms. So for example, um, this is where you leave your title for the form because it says on title form it's kind of like a google doc if you know how to operate a google doc google form shouldn't be that bad also kind of like google slides so let's just call this video form oops i can spell um because we're making this for the video you can have a description so people who are doing the um doing the form know what's going on so you could say form i must just type this for video for views all right all right so the tricky part okay is going to be actually um making the questions as you know this is where it gets a little more complicated that's easy but this is where it gets a little more complicated so here we'll add our questions so let's say um do you like my video um and here's what we can do is we can add options um, as it says here and I know Google has its own tutorial but if you're having trouble with it um, I know a lot of people do then you can you know just watch this so they actually have different forms for you to do these um, questions so let's start off with short answers so um, they'll enter this text and this isn't a right or wrong question by the way so they can't get this wrong it's just like a just a question you can make it required over here by the way so they have to do it otherwise they can just skip it if you want them to do it make sure you do this because uh, by default it will not be on so you have to toggle that by just clicking it and once it's purple that means it will be required so um, that can be the short answer there's also paragraph in which case it's a longer answer than short answer but also can't be right or wrong uh, you can do multiple choice in which case they it will be like yes or you know no I can spell sorry and uh, you know you can add images um, from any of these places uh, you know if you want to if you feel like you want an image you can also do that up here uh, but you know that's just if you really want to um, so here we can um, here we can do other stuff just by clicking these three dots you can see this go to section based on answer I believe they, I don't remember for sure. I think they added it. Oh, no, yeah. So, okay. It's still the same thing. You have to have it on multiple, multiple choice. It doesn't, you can't do go to section based on answer unless it's multiple choice. And, um, yeah. So, also, just a quick thing uh, I would like to point out. You can't say if it's right or wrong here. You will, you can go to responses, though, uh, where you'll see the, where how they responded and uh, stuff like that so uh, you can do that um, and then you know you can add I think unlimited options and delete them by doing that uh, pretty pretty basic so if you want to delete or duplicate the entire question these are what you'll hit I could hit duplicate to make a literally completely just 
same exact thing, pretty basic. And then I can delete it right there, which just deletes the entire thing and then you can always undo it. So it's not a huge deal if you accidentally do something like that. That's how you'll fix it, is just by hitting the undo. Um, and so that's that. Um, let's see, you can also do check boxes in which case they can hit multiple answers. So they can hit both. For a yes or no question, obviously you wouldn't want to do that. Drop down, it's kind of just like, uh, yeah, so you, okay, okay, they actually changed it. So you can actually go to section based on answer with drop down. Uh, this is kind of like multiple choice, I think, um, because they can't choose multiple, but it's just it's just a different form for them. Like it's a different structure for them to answer it. So. Uh, drop down menu. We'll have this on drop down so I can show you what it is. Multiple choice is pretty basic. I don't think I really need to cover it. Um, they also have file upload, in which case uh, they'll have to upload things. The respondents will be required to sign into Google and upload photos or files or whatever it is uh, if you do file upload. And linear scale will just be like. Um, It'll just be a scale, so like uh, 1 to 5, if I wanted you to rate my video on a scale of 1 to 10, you could do that here. Um, like this would be bad, and this would be good. So, you know, it's just like that. So anywhere between 1 to 10 they could pick. That's what linear scale is, pretty basic, you know, if you're doing like, uh, how did you like this, how did you like that, kind of that kind of thing, you might want to do linear scale. Multiple choice grid is pretty weird um i might talk about this in another video if you guys want me to it's it's a very complicated way to do questions i don't know how necessary it really is in things um it's just multiple choice grid i i don't know how else and you know check spot checkbox grid is the same thing just you, they can choose multiple uh, and then you can also have date and time which is pretty basic you don't have to do any further customization for those. So just enter a date and a time or whatever. And, um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, my bad. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, so now to kind of do the, oh yeah, you can all, okay. So you can add a video either by URL or just searching it on YouTube. Um, if you want to add a video to the page, pretty basic. And then you can just add sections. Um, so we'll add a couple of sections so I can kind of demonstrate to you what it's like, um, how this works. So we'll go to multiple choice for this, having yes and no. And, you know, if they answer that, um, they'll say yes. So I'll have go to section based on answer. So here you can choose which section they're going to. So here is um, how much. And here can be why. And here can be um, further questions. Um, sorry, I can not spell today. And, you know, here could be, uh, we can just delete these. Um, delete and delete. Okay, so let me kind of, so... Um, Okay, so here we'll do add a question. You'll want to hit add question, and then they'll have questions. So it's it's that simple. Um, if you want to add questions to sections, sections alone do not have anything for them. So you need to add a question if you want them to do anything on it. That's, that's just how it works. So uh, for example, um, how much did you like the video? So for this one, we might want to do linear scale. Um, and here we might want to do, you know, 1 to 10. We can do that. Oh, actually, no, I should say bad. No, sorry, good and bad. I already talked about linear scale. If I wanted them to, how much did you like the video? And, you know, we could do, why did you like the video? So for here, we could do like a short answer. They just type in what they want. Um, and I'm sorry if this video is a little longer and, uh, if you've already found the information you need, whatever, but I'm just, I'm just trying to explain everything, like how you would set up a form. So sorry about that. Um, further questions again, you'd probably want to do paragraph or short answer or like, you know, anything you want me, any, 
any um, anything you want to let me know or something like that. So I would probably want to do short answer or paragraph. Those are the ones where it's free response. So like here, for example, see, they would um, be picking one out of ten for linear scale. Um, and so, yeah. Um, sorry, this is wrong grammar and that annoys me. <laughs> so did you like my video? You could say yes. So here, um, if they say no, you could say why. Um, you could send them to the why section because, you know, they said, you know, they said they didn't like the video and you want to know why. So after that, or things, sorry, I'm sorry, I have ADD and this is just, I don't know, <laughs> or things you want to let me know. Okay. Um, so there... So if they say no, you'll want to send them to the why, see why they didn't like your video, or, you know, you can send them to that section. If they say yes, then uh, you could say go to section two. And uh, after section two, you could either send them, you could send them to any of these sections. And so you could go to there. Um, I can spell, guys, don't worry. So you could send them to further comments, you know, just skip the section. So if you add or even I think it's if you do or do not have go to section based on answer. Yeah, so it doesn't actually matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have go to section based on answer. It you can, After they complete the section, you can have um, them go to any of the other sections you have. So uh, when you do go to section based on answer, though, what that allows you to do is... Um, it allows you to customize where they are going based on how they answer. So if I want them to go to section three or go to section two, um, which is specified up here, by the way, then I can do that with go to section based on answer. Again, that only works for drop down or multiple choice. I'll actually do drop down because um, because I wanted to show you guys how that works. And then, you know, once you're done with all of this, just hit preview to check it out. And so here you can do um, drop down so it's you'll just click this and then you'll pick one and so I'll say let's say no to test out the go to section based on answer so I'll say why did you oh I should fix that question my bad uh, why did you not like the video um, because it was too my bad long okay next any questions or things you want to let me know you're bad okay <laughs> uh, please don't do that <laughs> if I ever do do a form like that so um, yeah that's how you would respond that way so if I do yes though um, then I would go to here so let's say I liked it I give it a 7 out of 10 then we can go to next um, you're good <laughs> and that's that so it's really that basic um, you can do that kind of thing so now if you want once they're done answering you can go to responses and I know Google Forms has done a lot of things awesome with this so you can get the information good so for all of the free responses it will say all of the things that they answered so like for the why section it's a short answer so why did you not like the video um, sorry again I need to fix that uh, but you know because it was too long any questions or things you want to let me know you're bad or you're good, you know. Um, it'll show all of the responses there. Uh, here it will say um, for linear, the section, this is how it will get that information. It will do a graph. So like on the scale of 1 to 10, it will show you how many people picked it. So it's really that simple. Uh, if you want me to elaborate more on anything, just l please let me know. I'd love to. And then make sure to join my Discord, YouTube Discord, if you have any questions or anything like that. And uh, make sure to follow my Twitch if you're interested in my gaming streams. And, uh, yeah, here, by the way, is the multiple choice or, or drop down in this case. These are the answers. that I'll, That's how it will show you is using a pie chart. Um, you can go to question. Um you know you can just do stuff like this so again it's you can go to the different questions see how they responded stuff like that so I know and then individual you could see how they responded individually um, and then you know you could go to two and then this is how they responded stuff like that so 
Another thing they added, I know, is you can create a spreadsheet with that information. I might talk about that in a future video if you guys want me to. It's pretty basic. They just make you a spreadsheet and put this information on it, so it can be helpful if you want to gather data better or whatever. And uh, here you can also make it so you're not or you not you are or you are not sorry um, accepting responses. So if you if it's like a test or something you're doing on Google Forms and you, you know, the due date's over, you can just hit that. Now you're not accepting any responses and, you know, you can add a message there for them to see. And, uh, yeah, that's how you do that. Here you can make it so you get email notifications for new responses. And here you can select stuff like that. And you, it's just, it's really this simple. You can delete all responses, um, stuff like that. So it's, it's that simple. Um, I know this can be complicated on the outset, but it is not that complicated once you get to figure it out. So, you know, you can make a copy and stuff. This is all stuff that goes for docs and slides and all that. So I don't think I really need to go over that at all. And here you can send it to people. Again, just like um, you can do it via email, link, or embedded HTML. It's just like a Docker slide. So um, that's that. And then here you can choose it theme you can choose an image they google has images like this so you could do stuff like that like i don't know i want it to be a butterfly i don't know i can make the, a different color too i can make it purple you know i i just play around with that kind of stuff if you want you can change the background color too um you can change the font style you can make it decorative formal and playful all of all of these are things that you know you can mess around with see what you like what you don't like you know, experiment for yourself. So, um, I think that's everything. Um, oh, I guess you can do, okay. So actually, no, this is important. So here you can collect email addresses. So this will automatically collect their email address. Um, so you don't have to have a question and they're asking for it. And here you can do resp response receipts. And, um, here they'll receive a copy of their responses so they can see that. Um, and yeah, there's, you know, customizations there. Pretty self-explanatory, I would say. Um, you can have it so it requires them to sign in. Or, I mean, limits them to one response so they can't respond multiple times. Again, if you do not want them to respond multiple times, you have to hit this checkbox. Um, otherwise, they can just com submit and submit eternally. Um, unless you, of course, make it so you're not accepting responses or you specify otherwise. So they can literally do that. So please, there are some things you have to, by default, toggle if you want to get good responses. And then you can also um, make it so they can edit after submission, in which case they can change their answers. If you don't want them to do that, don't mess with it. If you do, make sure to check that box. Uh, see summary charts and text responses. So this will allow them to see other people's answers. They will be allowed to see the data that I showed you just a second ago. And then once you're, oh yeah, here you can, uh, you can show progress bar. That's just for them when they're doing it. You can do change a confirmation message like good job. Or, you know, just you can do whatever. Uh, you can shuffle question order for multiple people. This, if you're doing a test with multiple people in the room, please make sure you're doing this one. Uh, otherwise, they'll just say, oh, click the first one, you know, stuff like that. So this is a very important thing. If you want this, if you want any of this to be the case, then you have to click the box. Um, and then, you know, sh showing the progress bar doesn't really impact much. It's just for the respondents um, thing. So making it a quiz, uh, this pretty much just uh, makes it so it will release the grade immediately after submission or later after manual review. Um, if you're doing like a lot of short answers or paragraphs, you're going to want to do this one, not this one. But if it's mostly like um, multiple choice and drop downs or checkboxes, you're going to want to do this one. Uh, if you want them to see their score. Um, respondents can see missed questions, correct answer, and point values. So this is all things that you can mess around with. Uh, if you want them to see the questions they missed and the questions they got right, which um, you might not want to, uh, and you want to make this a quiz, make sure you uncheck these because then they can show their peers if they're in the same area or whatever, uh, which ones are right or wrong. So, you know, stuff like that. Um, here you can assign point values 
uh, or here you can show them point values rather and uh, once you're done with all these settings make sure to hit save and they will be instituted into your form uh, I think that's everything I actually I legitimately think that is everything so yeah hero will um, collect their email address yeah so there it will see now it added this where it will require them to type in their email address if you want to know who's answering definitely make sure you do that so yeah that's everything guys i hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful if you did please leave a like and uh, recommend this video to people you know who might be struggling and uh, i really appreciate all the support i've been getting on my last one and uh yeah thank you guys so much i'm sorry again that this was a longer video and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace out